Hey guys, it's blackmas 523 here with a, uh, I guess you could say a new video for the channel. I haven't done one of these before, but we're going to be reviewing a Call of Duty Modern Warfare beta, and we played it on the Xbox this weekend, and as always, I'm joined here with co-hosts, Sleek Phantom, and Mark. <laughs> I guess it's Mark. <laughs> he's just he's just a Mark. Um, that way, you can get the opinions of three different people other than one, because, you know, we all have our own different opinions. And opinions are like assholes. Everyone has one. So we're just gonna go ahead and go over some of the pros and cons of the game. I mean, take this as a grain of with a grain of salt, as you could say, because it is still a beta. The game doesn't come out for another month, so they still have time to fix these issues. And a lot of them aren't really that big of a deal, but you know, they could be for some people. Yeah, some of them are kind of like minor, like personal things that kind of just like maybe rubbed us the wrong way, or like that we just had a problem with. But it's what. Yeah. So let's go ahead and start with the cons first, because I feel like a lot of people are talking about the pros, because this game does have a lot of pros. So for cons, personally, this one was for myself. I don't know, but I don't, they didn't experience it, but I did. Idle time. If you are away from the controller or the game is paused for like, like a minute, the game will kick you for inactivity. I literally paused the game in the middle of a ground war to modify my class, and I literally got kicked in the middle of modifying and recreating a class. I saw that. That was, and I, that, it's not the first, it happened twice. So that was really your. Again, nothing major. All they need to do is just tweak this and add it so where you don't get kicked if you're modifying a class. Simple stuff. Number two is an issue I think all of us have had here, and it's the hit registry. Um, there are times when you're clearly aiming at someone and nothing happens. Yeah, that happened a couple of times where basically I had like the... Talk closer over here. I had the, I had the clear advantage. I was already shooting at them, but for some reason, like half my bullets didn't register, and then like they were able to actually turn because they're like, oh shit, there's somebody shooting at me, and they they did take damage at first, but then they were still able to just like turn around, get me in their line of sight, shoot me, kill me, and I was just like, oh okay, I guess I just die now. Yeah. yeah. Same things happened to me before, where I would shoot someone, pop the corner, unload about 15 rounds of my mag into them, and they just kind of 360 and kill me. Yeah. So, another one here, uh, right going down the list of spawns. The spawns in this game, if you're not playing ground war where you can pick where you spawn, they are completely random and sporadic. Unlike previous Call of Duties, where if your team is clearly dominating one side of the map, the enemies are just spawning away from you, or and if you run into their spawn, they flip vice versa. That doesn't happen in this game. There are times where we've just spawned and like a bad guy will just spawn in front of us or we'll just spawn in front of three bad guys and just die immediately. Even Domination was a little like finicky with the spawn. Yeah. And I was actually kind of surprised. Like I would die and then all of a sudden I would spawn near the enemy flag. Like we would have two points. Like we would have A and B and then for some odd reason I would spawn literally right next to C even though it was clearly taken over by the enemy. Yeah. So this is another one here. This can be, um, this is kind of like a mix match, like a pro and a con. So we're gonna go with the con of this first, and that is cross-platform with PC gaming. Um, as biased as this sounds, there are uh, a PC gamer with a mouse can outspeed. I'm gonna say a good majority of console players with sticks. Um, I watched a kill cam where a guy killed me and three of my teammates. Because his respawn, his response time was so fast with the mouse that he was able to do such. Oh, the tank just got wrecked. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're watching gameplay footage as we're doing this review. But, um, yeah, so that's just another personal thing uh, for me. Uh, this was another personal thing for myself as well was night games. Uh, while the feature of night games was really, really cool addition to like, how they have like the same mask but nighttime you can use night vision. There are certain parts of the night uh, nighttime games that I did not like, and I think Mark agrees with me. Uh, Aaron didn't get to play any during the beta. Basically, from what I'm hearing, it's like a like a Pink Floyd laser show. It's yeah. Just like... So if you guys haven't, if you didn't have the chance to play in the beta, there uh, when you aim down your sights with a weapon, you have to cant the weapon and use a laser. And when you use that laser, everyone on the map can see where you're coming from. What were you gonna say? Yeah, uh, I've I've honestly had people hold peaks because they saw my laser kill one of their teammates and just sit there and wait. Yeah. Just for me to pop the corner. Yep. So, uh, the next one I think here is more for personal for Mark was damage tables. Um, there are weapons in the game and items that clearly do more damage than others, um, and they can even be higher ranked weapons in the same class. Uh, like the last weapon he got was like the Odin. Yeah. The Odin, I guess, do not doing as much damage as the FAMAS, which the FAMAS, if you haven't used it, go ahead and try it. It's disgusting. It one-hits. So, just thing like that. Um, 
this one for me though in the same thing I can say it was the suppressor uh, I can prove it here with some gameplay footage uh, their guy isn't that far away and I'm shooting them with a 50 cal and the suppressor and I'm getting hit markers instead of actually killing them when I'm hitting them you know center mass and then right here right afterwards is gonna be the same thing the same weapon but I took the suppressor off and put a muzzle brake on it and I shot a guy across the map and one hit him and it wasn't even a headshot yeah so it was greater distance but no silencer still killed in one hit but closer distance with the silencer you were getting the hit markers yeah. Lastly, this isn't really that big of a deal. This was just, uh, you know, another thing for myself. Um, my dad plays on PlayStation, and we do play Call of Duty together, so we have to play cross-platform, which is another reason why I like the cross-platform for gaming for PlayStation. However, there's no party. that you can't. There's no squad party like, uh, like I was told in Battlefield has, or you can't invite like a, per, a private party. Everything has to be through a public party. So small features. That's all they have to do is add a squad squad chat party for the, like, when the game comes out, and it'll be all good to go. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for the cons. There wasn't many cons down the down the list. There was again, these are all minor and personal things. You guys might have dealt with the same things playing the game. Uh, we're gonna go to the pros because there's a good amount of them. Not not many more than the uh, cons I can say, but that's the only we can think of. Um, right off the bat, if you notice, these graphics are s s something else. They're amazing. Yeah. Yeah, they really went above and beyond with these graphics here. Especially like, with the game type uh, realism. Yeah, the, the graphics basically just add right. even that much more to Yeah, if you guys have a PlayStation uh, Pro or an Xbox One X or if you're on PC and you can play with the 4K settings enabled, this game has absolutely beautiful graphics. Um, if you look very closely at detail, even like when they use their hands and everything, even the stopwatch on, on your arm is calculated to the real time on your console. Yeah, so if you look that. at your watch on while you're playing, that con that is linked to your actual time of whatever is on your Xbox or PlayStation. Yeah, I did not know that. Yeah. <laughs> so some very small details that they added in were really, really nice. Uh, same thing with kind of with going in with the graphics is the sound effects. They revamped all the weapons, and all the sounds of these weapons sound really, really nice. Um, the sniper rifles, like I say, are one of the best-sounding weapons in the game. They just sound absolutely beautiful. Uh, same thing with the, some of the assault rifles. Just out of there. Um, so stepping away from the graphics and sound effects, we're going to go with one of my uh, things that I thought was really nice that I think they agree with me on is the interactive environments. And by this, I mean like you can interact with the door and you can you can pretty much mount your weapon to any surface you want to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Being able to run through, kick a door open or close a door. Closing a door, as, as weird as this might sound because it's just a door, it can create an advantage in a, in a battlefield. There are times where... Uh, doors were open that I closed and I set a claymore behind the door and they had no idea the claymore was there because you know They couldn't see it. So as soon as they open the door and they come through or they come barging through with a sprint They get taken out by a claymore it can provide a tactical advantage and it's as simple as closing a door Or another one of the pros was the fact that you can close the door and then contextual lean with the door that you just closed while having the second one because some and a lot of maps there's double doors. double doors so you can actually close one contextual lean or just like like he said put something to like trap your enemy when they come through it. Yeah. So another really cool, really cool feature I th I liked in this game was the double sprint. Um, there's sprinting, of course, as usual. But if you click the stick twice, you raise your weapon up and you sprint even even faster. Yeah. Uh, it is for a short burst of period. Uh, you know, you can only go like a short distance, but it does help a lot, especially when you're trying to close the distance in certain spaces where you know you're probably gonna get killed. The little extra speed does help. Uh, going into number five here is the create a class. The create a class this time around was come way better and revamped and just I don't know. Like compared to the Black Ops game, this is like A rank versus E rank. It's pretty much like you're not restricted to the little stuff. Where like you can create a class and you can be happy with this class, but then again, you're not all to 100% because you had to actually sacrifice something in order to be happy with this class you just made. Yeah, jumping back to the original Black Ops games, there's a system called the Pick 13, where you can only pick 13 items for a created class, which means if you picked a weapon and you wanted multiple attachments, you had to sacrifice your perks and you had to sacrifice um, your extra abilities in order to have the attachments. This time around, you can create a class with both weapons, including Overkill as one of your perks, and you could have five attachments on each weapon, including personal weapon perks. And I think that was a really, really nice uh, addition to the game. Uh, what were you going to say? You going to say something? No, no, okay. Uh, something that personal for me, I don't think they've done it yet, was assassinations. If you come up behind someone and you hold the melee button, you actually enter a little, a little cutscene, kind of like in the Halo games, where you assassinate someone. And I thought that was just a really nice little touch there. Another thing, a little small, minor thing, but really cool. Um, coming on to number seven was 
the hit or miss was the cross platform and this time is with playstation i think that them finally putting it behind them and they can actually like coexist now playstation and xbox was a really cool thing again um i said earlier my dad plays on playstation and before the game came out or the beta came out we were worried that we weren't gonna be able to play together and he you know and i thought this was a really cool addition so going into number eight this one was uh kind of like more of a this was a really great addition to the game they've had this on pc but not consoles um was a contextual leaning while it is restricted to like door frames or walls and corners the contextual lean does add a certain advantage over um just standing out in the open and leaning your whole body out to take a shot at someone i thought this was a really great addition uh, this is another another one moving on to the next one is ability to use your offhand now if you don't know what this means it means that if you have your weapon ready you can hold the left bumper or the l1 button i believe or no, l2 on playstation to charge up your flashbang while having your weapon still at the ready and you can throw the grenade and still use your weapon same thing goes with climbing a ladder if you're climbing a ladder your left hand climbs and your right hand holds the pistol so there are times especially on the map uh, the the cave where there's a well you can climb up the well and aim your pistol out i think i have some footage of it and you can actually shoot people with the before you come out and pop your whole body out so Overall, I think that's all we had for pros and cons. We couldn't really think of much else for the game. Overall, the game plays great. We all enjoyed ourselves in the beta, and we'll be playing again next week when it comes out for the public, so if you didn't pre-order, you can play. Um, but overall, when it comes to the final verdict, uh, I'll go ahead and start with Mark. Mark, what was your final verdict? Um, 6.5. Mainly because it felt just like another Call of Duty game with just different additions, like a better ground war system and just better guns and just all around it. It's it doesn't feel like a new game. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so overall so so you said six point five? Yeah. Okay. And now is there anything keeping you from rating it higher? Like from the beta? Um not really. I mean there's only so much they could do for the beta beta. I just wish they gave us better maps to play on. That's yeah. probably that would be Yeah. yeah. Aaron, what would you say is your final verdict for the game? My final verdict, after like thinking about it a little bit more, I would say is like like an eight eight point five. Okay, I so mean, ba basically, like it's along the lines of like what Mark said, but it's the simple fact that like maybe Call of Duty or who who's the developer of this game? Infinity War. I Infinity War. Maybe Infinity War kind of like kind of realized that they're like, oh, we don't have to like you know go to extreme you know measures and like kind of push ourselves into like unrealistic shit when like really all anybody really wants is another call of duty right that's basically all you want it's like and yes it's like it doesn't really feel like that too new of a game but it does have those general little aspects that make it a little bit more enjoyable a little bit more playable especially when the beta is now done like they can go no, back they're going back next week for one more so. yeah that's what i'm saying but like now it's like maybe with that second run of the beta like people will be like oh okay so they fixed a lot of the shit like the hit registry or the damage tables and all that stuff and i i personally enjoyed it like i'm glad i pre-ordered it and that we're gonna be able to play when it comes out in october overall for me i really enjoyed the beta i think that with the new polish system the graphics the sound effects all the little details they added in, like those little stopwatch, the contextual leaning, uh, the cut, the create a class, everything like that, put this up to a great Call of Duty game. I think this one is one of the better Call of Duty games compared to especially the ones we've had in recent years. Uh, the last one I played that I enjoyed was the Modern Warfare Remastered. Go figure. Um, I think I'll rate this one 8.5 to 9 just on the beta alone. I think that with the minor tweaks, this game has what it takes to be one of the best Call of Duty games so far. Um, again, there are a lot of issues with it currently because it is still in the beta and there, there is definitely time to go back and fix it. So it's not like they can't tweak it down the road. Well, we're talking about other Call of Duty games. Like World War II is pretty fun, even though the only thing I ever played was shipment, shipment. 1944. Yeah. That's, the only, that's the only mode you're supposed to play if yeah. it offers shipment. That's yeah. like if you don't care about your KD, it's just like, oh, okay. Yeah. So overall, based on the beta and based on the multiplayer, I would definitely say this is a go for me. If you have the if you have the extra money or if you have a friend who you game share with like I do with Aaron here, we you just get the game. It's it's you're going to enjoy it. Uh, if you play if you enjoyed previous Call of Duty games that weren't like jetpacks and flying around like Advanced Warfare, if you just like the basic boots on the ground combat that plays kind of like Battlefield actually. Yeah. It plays more like Battlefield than a Call of Duty game. Um, then go for it. I think you're just gonna you really enjoy what you got. Well, yeah, with the ground war, the ground war, I could definitely see more of the battlefield aspect. It has a squad system. 
which... Oh, and if y'all are confused about who the hell Aaron is, that's actually me. That's my real name. <laughs> that's real name. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this review. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to drop the video a like and subscribe. We're going to be throwing up some gameplay footage, actually, uh, right after this. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Till next time.